Well, Memorial Day weekend marks the unofficial start to summer, but it also means you'll need to think about your child's safety and as temperatures heat up and kids take a break from school. Here to talk about all of that is Dr. Susan Bankston from the Baton Rouge Clinic. Hey, good morning. Good morning. How Thanks are so much you? for being here. Thank you. You know I love being here. Yeah, good to see you. There's a lot of things to cover. It's really hot outside right oh now. So how can we stay safe during our outside activities? That's it. So outside is big. What's the first thing? I think we just had the commercial from the Baton Rouge Clinic. Couldn't have been better, <laughs> but our skin safety. And so that means sunscreen and if you are six months or older that's a key there six months or older you need to have on sunscreen I don't care if you're African-American if you're Oriental if you're as white as I am you need to have sunscreen on and that's going to be at least 15 to 50 percent SPF me personally I'm going 75 to 100 right <laughs> if you're under six months you need to be I don't take them down to the beach guys between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. That's when the sun is the worst. And if you have to take them, put them under a tent, put them in clothes, uh, sun protective clothing, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, then the other thing that gets you outside is those bugs. Now, we in Louisiana don't know anything about that, right? Right. But well, we, not, not <laughs> used to that at all. I think our mosquitoes <laughs> are this big. So anyway, <laughs> let's talk about that. One thing you can do is make sure there's no empty water around your backyard where yeah. the kids, where um, the um, bugs can multiply, okay? And then the other is, if they are two months or greater, they can have up to 30% DEET, D-E-E-T, in their bug spray, and they need to have bug spray. Uh, I usually put it where they're not gonna put it in their mouth, so right. like around their ankles, their arms, that sort of thing. Um, and you need to go and inspect your yards with the rain. Sometimes we get big ant mounds. You need to safely, you know, back in the day we threw gasoline on them, set them on fire. You don't do it that way, guys. <laughs> That's not good. Yeah. Um, and so be safe, but get rid of the ant mounds and that sort of thing. Also, um, you want to uh, make sure that there's no poison ivy and things like that out in the yard. Um, and you wear gloves if you're allergic to poison ivy. Right. Sometimes you might forget about those things that are lingering around. Right. Um, also, being outside, it's super hot. So talk to me a little bit about how maybe we could stay hydrated, uh, too. Hydrate, hydrate. <laughs> hydrate. I was going to I was going to cue you with that. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate and just keep saying it. I can't say it enough, guys. And it's what you drink today that matters tomorrow. So mm -hmm. go ahead and start drinking. If you know tomorrow y'all are going to be out having fun while Dr. Susan is working, <laughs> I want y'all to get in there and drink a gallon of water today. Okay? Just put that as your uh, goal. Drink a gallon of water. You'll be ready for tomorrow because it gets down to the cellular level. And uh, but then tomorrow keep drinking. A lot of people want to go with the Gatorades. I'm going to say mm -hmm. some names here. Gatorades, Powerades and all that. Those are good drinks. Uh, a lot of sugar, uh, a lot of salt if you're a little guy, so make sure you cut them half and half with water. And you only really need one of those extra salt drinks a day unless you are playing tournament ball and you're t playing 10 games. Limit that push the water. Right, you still need some water. And That's talking it. about water, a lot of us are going to be out on the water this weekend. Yeah. Any boating safety and things like that? Yeah, the first thing I'm going to say is floaties are not official life preservers, okay? okay. That's yeah. a big thing. Uh, and the death for children, uh, the highest rate of death, the cause of death, for one to four years of age is drowning. Mm -hmm. So if you're in a boat, period, adults, I'm a big swimmer, but I'm gonna have on a life preserver when I'm in a boat. If the boat hits a, uh, a log and throws you out, you never know what's gonna happen. So anybody in a boat has a life preserver. Children who do not swim or who are not uh, very old have on life preservers. I personally say, I call it your special water vest and you have to wear it anytime you're out by water. So right. put them in a vest. In a murky water, kids go down. It takes less than four minutes to drown, or right about that time is four minutes, but it's going to take you longer to find them in murky water. So put them in a life vest. They'll float up to the top. Yeah, make sure we can see them pretty good, too, for sure. And, <laughs> and, and the other thing about seeing a kid is don't put them in a hot car. Uh, I always throw my shoe in the back. If I have my niece or nephew with me, I'll throw the shoe in the back so I can't get out of the car without getting them out of the car because <laughs> I'm not used to carrying them. So if you're not used to doing it, make sure you do something like that. Uh, also, I'm a big pet lover, so be careful about your pets in the hot water. Yeah, and absolutely. Lastly, if you're riding those bikes outside, bike helmet. <laughs> Most important one of there all, for go. sure. There well, we go. threw a lot of tips out there for you, but don't worry. We'll have all the information over on the 9 News app. Dr. Bankson, thanks so much for coming by. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> well,